hi, hello, my name is Discat, this is Project Hardcover, where we're letting books be the escape. Hello, and welcome to the third and final installment in my Jar Game series. The last game is Bee, Room, or Cliff. This game, much like the others, is very simple. Inside this very awesome Scooby-Doo mug are the names of female characters from book series. Each round, I am going to pull three names out of the cup at random, and I must decide which character I would rather be, be a roommate with, or push off of a cliff. Sounds simple enough, even though it's probably not going to be. But anyway, let's get started. Round one. Of course I can't get an easy one the first round. That would be stupid. Okay, for this impossible round, we have Karu from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. We have Zuzana from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. And we have Cassie from the Fifth Wave. Just oh love all of these characters. This is terrible. Okay. Just okay. I would be Karu from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. Uh, she's just a very strong, strong character. You definitely, definitely see that in the second book. She's just, and she's so cool, and she gets to hang out with all of her Chimera people, and her life is just very interesting. So, I would definitely be Karu. And then this just seems to fit perfectly. Uh, I would room with Zuzana from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. Uh, she's just an amazing best friend. I mean, you know, who finds out that their best friend is like a human chimera thing and she's stuck in the middle of this ungodly world? war and like wouldn't freak out and be like okay me and my awesome boyfriend are going all the way over here you stay over here she's just really loyal she's really fun and quirky and again she has an awesome boyfriend and you know they're just adorable so yeah i would definitely room with Susanna. then unfortunately i would have to push cassie from the fifth wave off of a cliff which really isn't fair because i really do like cassie she was a strong character as well, I would say, uh, given her situation. And, you know, it's just, it just sucks. You know, she has to go through all of that alien bull crap and then just have me push off a cliff. That's just not cool. That's not cool. Round two. One, two, thank you. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this round isn't any better. Um, well, it's a little better. Uh, in this round, we have Teresa from the Maze Runner series. We have Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles. And we have Bella Swan from the Twilight Saga. Okay! I would definitely, definitely be Cinder. Um, yeah, her life kind of sucks in the beginning. Uh, but, you know, she gets Prince Kai. And, you know, she's badass and she's a cyborg I don't care what anyone in like the actual series says cyborgs are cool so yeah I would be cinder and then we have difficulty I don't like either one of these characters um but I do have to say I do like Teresa a little better than Bella so I would room with Teresa you know maybe the glader boys would come visit us and I can hang out with Newton know and stuff so yeah I guess I'd room with Teresa and then I would cliff Bella Swan she was just a very weak weak character just like all of my respect for her just went out the window in the second book the whole needing a man in her life so that she can function properly is just not something you want to see as a teenage girl in a book series. So yeah, bye-bye. Round three. One, two, three. Okay, and in this round, we have Beth from the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. 
We have Callie Rose McGregor from the Knots and Crosses series. And then we have Triss Pryor from the Divergent Trilogy. Okay, great. I get to figure this out. Um, alright. I would be Triss Pryor from Divergent. Um, she's a strong character. I like the way that she thinks. I like her moral center. And, uh, main reason for this, she has four. Like, that is reason enough. Just, just, I'm all in it for the four. Just four, 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 four. I would room with Beth from the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. She is so sweet. And she has a nice little sarcastic side to her. She's funny. And if I was rooming with Beth, from the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. That means I am living in the Black Dagger Brotherhood mansion and just, oh, all of that man candy and, oh, just, yeah, yeah, I would room that. I would room that so hard. And then, unfortunately, I would have to push Callie Rose off of a cliff, which is not cool because she's a really nice character. She's snarky and she's fun, and she's loyal, and all of that. And I really liked her, but alas, one always has to go. Round four? All right, and in this round, we have Viola from the Chaos Walking Trilogy. We have Hornet from the Thief Lord. And we have Christina from the Divergent Trilogy. This is not easy. Okay. I would be Christina from the Divergent Trilogy. She's a fun character. Uh, she's funny and, you know, she kicks a little bit of butt. And, you know, she she gets to hang around, you know, Triss. And if she's hanging around with Triss, she's hanging around four. And just four, four, four. This is really hard. I guess, I guess. I would room with Hornet from the Thief Lord. Um, she's, she's cool. She's really smart. She loves, loves books. Um, so that's cool. We could share books. And, you know, her friends are, you know, Prosper and Boniface and Scipio. And that's just, I love those boys. So, and, and she gets to live in the Stella Luna, which is an old abandoned movie theater. And just, yeah, so I would definitely room with Hornet. And then this sucks so bad, but I would have to push Viola off of a cliff, which is really bad. I loved her in the Chaos Walking trilogy. She was like the voice of reason, and she was just so smart and just so loyal to Todd, even when she didn't really need to be and she just had all of the common sense. It was just, ugh, I really liked her. Just, I don't like these jar games. They're, they're not fair. And then last round, Hazel Grace is in here somewhere. And then for this round, we have Hazel Grace from The Fault in Our Stars. We have Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games Trilogy. And we have Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. And, oh, of course the last one has to be difficult as well. Okay, I would be Hermione Granger. I mean, who doesn't want to be a witch and be friends with Harry Potter and go to Hogwarts and be able to do magic? That's just, yeah. And she reads lots of books too, so we're kind of in common that way. Then I would room with Hazel Grace from The False Our Stars. She is very wise for her age. She's very mature and grounded. She's funny. She has a little bit of snark to her. And just, yes, I, I love Hazel Grace. I would room with her. And then unfortunately, I would have to push Katniss Everdeen off of a cliff, which is not fun times either. I really did like Katniss, uh, but you know, I guess she's, she's a little, you know, down in the dumps a lot, which makes sense. It's just, that's not really a good quality for a roommate to have, so sorry. All right, that was it. That was the third and final game in the Jar Game series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I only semi did. I encourage you guys to play these games. Yes, they are torturous, but they're also kind of fun. Uh, if you guys do play these games, leave me a video response. I would really like to see you guys all suffer as well. Uh, I'm kind of a terrible person that way. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in a week or so. And remember, books are the escape.